Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh guys. Uh, today we are going to discuss and study the strategy uh, to overcome some difficulties in taking the TOEFL test. Okay. Uh, the first skill that we are going to discuss today is subject and verb agreement. Okay. Sentences with one clause. We show that the sentence has a subject and a verb. Okay, because uh, if a sentence doesn't contain a subject or miss a verb, it is wrong. Mm. In the TOEFL test, you will find such kind of questions. Look at the example one. The blah, blah blah was backed up for miles on the freeway. Okay. Is there any subject? No, there is no subject. Is there any verb? No, there is no verb. Oh, yes, of course, there is a verb. Was packed. So we need a subject. Is the day in the morning traffic or cars? Okay. A is wrong. B is also wrong. Why? Because A and B is not a noun. Then look at option C and D. Traffic. Okay, it is a noun. Cars are also a noun. But look at the verb. The verb is was. So the right answer is C because was is a singular. Okay. And look at example three. The boy blah 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 going to the movies with a friend. The boy is a subject. Blah 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 going. Okay, going is a present participle. But it is not a verb yet because there is no to be. So we need a verb or at least a part of verb. A, he is, is wrong. He always was wrong. It's relaxing wrong. So the right answer is D. We'll be going to the movies. Okay. <clears throat> in conclusion, subject and verbs. A sentence in English must have at least one subject and one verb. So if a, a sentence, uh, if there is no subject in a sentence or, or there is no a verb in a sentence, that, it, that is not a sentence or the sentence is wrong. Okay, exercise one. Number one, last week, when fishing for trout at the nearby mountain lake. Is there any subject? Last week. Last week is not a subject. It is an uh, end of time. Last week. When fishing. When is a verb. So it is wrong because we, the, the sentence has no subject. And look at number two. A schedule of the day's event can be obtained at the front desk. A schedule is a subject, can be obtained is a verb. It is good answer or it is correct answer, <clears throat> correct sentence. Then guys, look at number three until number 10. I will um, explain number 10. The new machine is, a, is processes 50% more than the previous machine. Okay, the new machine, subject, is verb, processes, also verb, it is wrong, why, because the, it contains double verbs. Number nine, yesterday found an interesting article on pollution. Yesterday, is it a subject? No, it is not a subject. Yesterday, it's not a subject. Found, verb. The sentence has a verb but has no subject. So number nine is incorrect. Okay, for the rest of uh, the sentences, I hope you could do them. Number three until number eight. Please do it by yourself. Uh, look at the PDF that I have already shared. Okay, and if you find any difficulties in uh, doing this exercise just let me know and ask me some questions okay that's all for uh what is it for skill one uh, subject and verb agreement
Okay, thank you very much for your attention. I'll see you on the next video and the next material. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.